sexual jealousy is um, in a sense more intense for men because men value uh, sexuality more than women do. Like emotional cheating is deeper for women and sexual cheating is deeper for men. So it's harder for a man to overcome sexual infidelity than it is for a woman to overcome uh, sexual infidelity. And it's also more difficult for a woman to overcome emotional infidelity than it is for her to overcome sexual infidelity because they place two different values on those things, two different weighted values. So emotional infidelity means more to women because as I said, emotions is how men demonstrate, you know, allocating resources, investing in resources. So if a, woman, if a man is cheating emotionally, then to that woman that means he's giving that woman other things that he normally gives her which means he really likes her. Whereas a woman, if she's cheating, then that means she has the uh, possibility of conceiving that man's child and him um, fathering a child that's not his. So we take that much more seriously because of that possibility, because of that paternity uncertainty. A lot of domestic abuse comes from women who have committed an act of infidelity or they perceive that the woman has committed an act of infidelity. A man is much more likely to put his hands on her if he finds out because of that sexual jealousy. Like a pride up, thing, do you think? Like, does it just hit the pride or does it, is it more of a, it's built into your DNA? That it's oh. both. I say the pride stems from what's built into your DNA. Okay. Yep. I, I think that's a very concise way to finish off what you're saying. 